Hello, Paradise Panther artists. My name is Mrs. Telfer, and I'm excited to be with you today to tell you about our next master artist, Edward Hopper. You might be wondering, why am I dressed like I'm ready to go to the beach? Well, Edward Hopper was an American artist who simply painted his love of the sea. So grab your hat, your glasses, and your beach towel as we head to the coast. Here we go, artists. People would ask Edward Hopper about the places he painted. They wanted to know where the actual places were in the United States. But he would just tap his forehead and say, in here. But what did he mean? I'm wondering, did he mean that he thought them up? Did he use his brain? Or were they from memories? Well, he did all of the above. He drew on his thoughts and memories when he started to paint. As you look at this self-portrait of Hopper, I want you to be thinking, what was he like as a person? Was he quiet or loud? Well, he was a very quiet, lonely person throughout his life. Now look at the photo and notice his legs. Does he look short to you or tall? Edward was very tall. In fact, he had a nickname when he was just 12 years old. He was called Grasshopper because of his very long legs. He was over six feet tall in the sixth grade. And just as grasshoppers are very quiet, so was Edward. Edward knew by the age of seven that he wanted to be an artist. He wrote the words would be artist on his paint box so everyone would know his future plans. Since he was a quiet, shy boy, he spent a lot of time alone reading and drawing. Besides art, let's see what else Edward loved to do as a young boy. Edward loved boats. Not only did he love to ride in boats, he loved to watch them and draw them. Hopper grew up in a small town right on a big river in New York State. He even built his own boat when he was a teenager. Let's take a look at one of his paintings of boats. I wonder what kind of boat it will be. Will it be a working boat or a boat just for fun? I'm wondering, how does this boat move through the water? I want you to show me with your hands. No voices, only use your body. Do you think this is a rowboat that uses oars to move in the water? Then show me a rowing motion with your hands. Or do you think this is a sailboat that uses the wind to move through the water? Go ahead and show me a wind motion with your hands. Yes, this is a sailboat that moves through the water because it is moved by the wind. Thank you. You can put your hands down now. Go ahead and look at the people on the boat. They are looking at a marker in the ocean, a bell. A bell warns boaters of danger, maybe a rock or shallow water, so the boaters have to be careful. Let's look at another boat painting by Hopper. I want you to be thinking, is this boat going faster or slower than the one we're looking at now? Give me a thumbs up if you think this boat is going faster than the other boat we just saw or give me a thumbs down if you think it is going slower. 
Yes, it is going faster than the boat we saw in the previous painting. Thank you, you can put your hands down now. You can tell it is going faster because the sails are bulging and the wind is blowing harder on the sails. A horizon line is where the land meets the sky or where the water meets the sky. Go ahead and look at the horizon line right here where the land meets the sky. We also see a lighthouse on this horizon line in the background. This helps the boaters to stay out of danger. There's also a building attached to the lighthouse where a lighthouse keeper and their family might live. Let's look at the kinds of lines Hopper used in this oil painting. We see vertical lines in the lighthouse and the houses right here going up and down. We also see horizontal lines on the horizon line in the background and in the ocean where it meets the land. And we see diagonal lines on the sailboat. Hopper used a lot of straight lines in this painting. Let's pretend we're going to beach our sailboat now to get a closer look at the lighthouse in the background. We will carefully sail our boat to the shoreline and hop out for a look around. We've walked right up to the lighthouse and the buildings for a close up view. There is a way to get to the top of the lighthouse by using the stairs inside, but it is a bit of a steep staircase. When we get to the top and step outside, we see a beautiful view of the ocean and we can see the horizon. In this painting, we see many shadows. Hopper loved to show sunlight and shadows in his painting. This creates even more lines to catch our attention. Now, let's all carefully climb down the hill in the foreground and go somewhere else I know you will like, just like Hopper did. Using a quiet hand, go ahead and raise your hand if you like to spend a day at the beach. I bet there are a lot of people with hands raised right now. Thank you, you can put your hands down. Sometimes people like to sit under umbrellas so you won't get too sunburned or hot. Hopper also loved to go to the beach and he also loved to paint beach scenes just like this. Edward visited this beach with his wife, Jo. They spent their honeymoon near this beach and enjoyed relaxing and painting there. Let's look at the simple way Hopper put this picture together. There are only three main blocks of color, the sand, the water, and the sky. We see horizontal lines in the horizon line where the water meets the sky. We also see horizontal lines where the sand meets the water. The bright colors that really catch your attention first are the orange and yellow umbrellas right here. We also see footprints in the foreground. They're in the middle of the sand. 
And look at where the sky is a deeper color of blue on top. I am thinking it is a cool day on this beach because it looks like the people are all dressed warmly. When you do your art activity, you'll be making a fun umbrella beach scene, just like Hopper did in this painting. I wonder if it will include a horizon line. We'll have to wait and see. Now we will review all the things we learned today about our master artist, Edward Hopper. Raise your hand if you have an answer, and then your teacher will call on you. Let's all go ahead and sit up nice and vertical before we begin. Number one, because Edward was tall, what nickname did he have as a child? He was called Grasshopper. Number two, what is the art word for where the water meets the sky? This is called the horizon or the horizon line. Number three, what shows a sailboat is moving very fast? The boat is leaning, the sails are bulging because the wind is blowing. Number four, what kind of building warns boaters of danger? This is called a lighthouse. Number five, where did Hopper show colorful umbrellas? He showed them at the beach. Great job, artists. You are masters just like Edward Hopper, our famous American artist. Great job today, artists, as we discovered the beauty of the sea and of America, as we looked at the paintings of our master artist, Edward Hopper. I hope you have a great time creating your own beach scene in your upcoming art project. Have a great day, and I will see you next time, Paradise Panther artists.